Okay, and uh, now we fight Bill. Well, we fight his minions, and then we fight Bill. There he is, doesn't he look so nice? Run away! How much health do you have, Bill? Still have quite a bit. Oh, he charged me. Oh, oh god. Okay, I did not actually die to Bill. A planar beacon. It's better than, than the light that I currently have, but it's not very good. Let's so level up. Armor training, combat accuracy. So that we can put on this, this plate armor. Actually, those boots? Are those boots better than what I have? No, not really. Let's max out our strength. Get more weapons mastery. And get some willpower. Yeah, I really don't know how to, uh, build Wormix at all. I know you want Swallow, because Swallow is awesome. Not so sure about Wing Buffet, though. Not so sure about that. What is higher Draconic Abilities? Oh, you know what this would be really good with? Whenever you inflict damage to a target, you would de deal additional darkness damage. There's an item in that game that changes damage that you do to, like, five different types. Which is kind of, for the most part, it's a really shitty item. But with that, that item would be really good. But unless I get that item, I can't really make use out of it. Becomes a piercing line at level 5. Okay. Not really sure what skills that I want. Bellowing Roar is pretty nice. Just get this. I, I like the extra passive move speed from lightning speed. Woo. So let's get out of here, go to the overworld. And get rid of those items. Let's go to some shops. We have some money. Hello, patrol. How are you? Let's go to Sh Zigger. Right here. These are the anti-magic people. But they can sell some pretty nice items. The game saving slows it down quite a bit. That is daggers. I don't want daggers. Uh, let's see. That is a really nice weapon. That is a really nice weapon. Wow. It's quick, so it attacks faster. It's got the of, mass of massacre affix, which vastly increases the damage it deals. Like, compare the difference in damage between these two. That is because of that is a massacre. I think I want that. And this is another add-on that keeps track of items that you can buy. 
That is a really nice item, but I want to see what else they have. That's pretty nice, too. It's a lot of armor. And lore for sale. What sort of infusions do you have? Oh, that's got a really long cooldown for a healing infusion. They both do. Other than that, it's a pretty good one. But I'm not really interested in that. Any other good items? Not really. That's hateful. I think I like the other one, though. So do I just want to buy it? No, let's go to the... Uh, why did you not take me... Maybe because this place has anti-magic, this item does not work here. I don't think I've ever tried to use the Rod of Recall in Zigger. So, uh... Yeah. Ah. Guess it does not work there. That is a really nice weapon. I doubt I'll find a better one, but... I would like to see. And last hope, with really epic music. What's for sale? Acidic. Splashes the target with acid, okay. Maybe I'll buy that. I just want something that's made out of dwarven steel and is of massacre. And is too handy. So what infusions do you have? Wow. That's also got a really long cooldown. <laughs> that's pretty decent. Nothing there, that's great. That store has lore. I guess I can talk to this guy while I'm here. Get his quest. I do love this line. Oh, I love adventures. I was about to become one myself when it suddenly it hit me. And by it, I mean my wife. And this guy wants you to uh, get him ingredients so that he can become an alchemist. Okay, I accept. I want the one that gives me generic talent points. Oh, and here's the list, and he's got another quest that we're not going to probably ever do, because it's really dangerous. Well, I'll see if I can help. Okay, there we go. That is Daggers, Reaver's Blunt Paradise. Do you have any good melee weapons? You do not. Okay, let's compare these two. What's the hotkey? Okay, there it is. Okay. I'll buy this sword, then. And the sword's cheaper, too, which is nice. Anything good here? Not really. Oh. Yeah, this is kind of the reason why, in the, uh in the base game without this add-on. You don't get the glove stats, which is the part under when used to modify unarmed attacks, because it takes up a whole bunch of space. A whole bunch of space. Oh, no, not the we not the ranged weapon shop. Let's get this sword. Because it's a really nice sword. 49 damage per attack. And now I do 66. With a higher with a higher crit chance. Fantastic. 
and I'll get that regeneration infusion as well. Because cunning is going to be a stat that I use quite a bit. Oh god, I moved things around. Okay, that's how I want it to be. And let's recall out of here. See, I can recall out of here, but not out of Zig. Whatever. Okay. The game saves. And let's wander around. Because another alchemist that I would like to find is sometimes hangs out around here. But he is not here this time. I don't want to do that quest yet, actually. Uh, when you're in this area of the map, you can get like a little pop-up from a dude, and he's got a quest, which is not that difficult. I just don't want to do it at level 7. So let's go to the Town of Dearth, which is where this character is apparently from. Oh, and I missed some lore at Last Hope, which was that town that we were just at. Basically talking about the uh, the previous king and queen and their son. And also, yeah, you'll notice in this, there's a lot of halflings in this town. And, like, there's human guards and halfling guards. In Tales of Majayal, it's the halflings that are the badasses. Like, really, really badasses. That's pretty decent. I might buy that. As in... Oh no, I thought that was a bright lantern of health. But yeah, the halflings were the guys that like unified all of the races to fight against the orcs. Usually it's like the humans that unify everybody. No, 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 it's the, the halflings. They're the military powerhouse. Tall hooded man stares at you. Yes, yes, you look like a promising warrior indeed. I have an offer, human. You see, I am an agent for the arena. I look for promising warriors that can provide a good show for the audience. Perhaps you are strong enough to join. All you need to do is beat three of my men in battle, and you shall be rewarded. Alright. Some useful combat experience. I am ready for battle. Good f the great fighter is always willing to head into battle. You won't regret meeting us. Yes, I am ready. Let's go. To some more epic music. That reminds me of Doom Arrow. Defeat all three enemies. Woo. It's a slinger. Slinger is the first one. And then there's this guy who's a dick and stuns you. Get knocked back. He did not get knocked back. He knocked me back. Oh yeah, that's a lot of extra damage. That's really nice. Let's heal. We can buff it. This guy's an arcane blade. He can use magic and melee really well. Get killed with Wing Buffet. Okay, well done. I knew you had potential. Name's Rege. I recruit. Work for the arena to recruit great fighters who can give a good show and to not die in two blows. You're one of those indeed. I won't keep you away from your adventures. I was there too, long ago. But we can make you a true champion. Beloved by many and bathing in diamonds. That sounds really unpleasant. As you travel back to Dearth in the company of the road, you discuss your battles in the forest. It provides you with great insight on your combat techniques. Plus two generic talent points. Woo! That's what we're here for. Like, I, I'm not... I'm not sure if I've gotten any, like... Not messages, but, like, nobody's been chatting for any of these videos, which is strange. Then again, it is like a weekday morning. So there's that. That might have something to do with it. And let's go to the world map. Where to next? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what we're there for in Dearth. Basically get the two generic talent points that I should probably use. 
use them on uh, some armor training. Let's see if the guy that I'm looking for is up here. He can be. Also, this is a Zigger patrol, which is anti-magic, guys. They are complete and total dicks, and they will attack you if you even have, like, a shielding rune. They will attack you on sight and kill you. Before you stands a man covered in dirt and blood. He is out of breath and half mad. Please, you must help. It is slaughtering everybody in my village. Please. Okay. All the way up here. Lumberjack village. Maybe I can save everybody. There's an achievement for saving all of the lumberjacks. I've never gotten it, because that's a huge pain. You have to, like, find him and get his attention immediately. But, I can use lightning speed. Move 762% faster for four, for four turns. Which basically means I can go, like, 28 tiles or so. And the t time that it takes anyone else... Oh, nope, a lumberjack falls to the ground dead. Oh, and I get, get confused and I don't have a way to get rid of mental effects. Stop confusing me. Okay, there we go. Got, he got eaten. Ben lies defeated at your feet or in your stomach. One of the two. Thank you for <coughs> saving me from the curse. I did not not want for this to. He coughs one last time and dies. Smile on his face as his curse is gone. Woo! And this is where you get your free pickaxe, which is very nice. And that's how you unlock the cursed class, which really sucks. Like, both of the, uh, the cursed, there's, like, a magic using cursed, and there's melee. The mag- the caster one, it doesn't actually use, like, mana. It uses its own resource, but it's a caster, and it really sucks. And the melee one is okay. At least as far as I'm aware, I've never really played it. Never really played either of them. But the caster one really sucks, and the melee one can be pretty decent. Okay, I am so used to avoiding the zigger patrols that I, like, stepped away as soon as I saw it. But no, I don't need to do that here. Let's go ahead. Look for that dude. Actually, what do we need to do for the, this guy's quest? A Hummer Horn Wing. A Fair Hing Fang. And a Skeleton Mage Skull. That Hummer Horn Wing, hummer horn wing is a huge pain in the ass because it only spawns in like three places in the game. And it's a relatively uncommon spawn even at those places. So you might never find one. Anyway, this is a Grimly the Hermit. Perhaps there's something I can help you with. Ooh, is there something I can help you with? Can I help? It's not a very hermit-like at attitude. Ooh. Which in all probability either don't exist or are things like recipes for elixir elixirs of who gives a flying duck. I'm in. And I want the Elixir of Focus to get two more class talent points. Ooh. What do you want me to get? Honey tree root, red crystal shard, and a rich stinger. God damn it. Like, you don't even come across riches until way later. Oh, wait, no, I have the mod that allows me to uh, go to the, uh, the Yeek Island right here. That normally only Yeeks can get to, but... But I can get there. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy, a novice mage. What brings you out into the wilds? Please tell me. Novice mage, as your people might have noticed, my goal is to, or as you might have noticed, my goal is to be accepted by the people of Anglewind and be taught the secrets of the arcane. Who are they? They're the keepers of Arc. Yeah, I do not think I am supposed to talk about them. In any case, I must collect many items. I have some already, but I'm still looking for an arcane-infused artifact. Well, okay, I don't think I have any. Now I have these, which are 
arcane disrupting. So I'm trying to think of... Oh, right, yes, I remember where the second tier one dungeon that I like to go to is. Up here. Nor Norgos's Lair. Fail to hit the snake because our accuracy is terrible. It is only 24, and roughly, it's really quite complicated, but roughly, roughly, your accuracy goes into a check against their defense stat, and if your accuracy is higher, you're more likely to hit, but it's, like, really quite complicated. It's not something like, say, with, like, D&D, where you add your, your attack bonus and if you beat their AC, you hit. It's it's a good deal more complicated than that. But generally speaking, if your attack is higher than their defense, you will hit. And it really, in this game, it comes down to miss most of the time or hit most of the time. Like, 80% of the time. It, it, it's pretty infrequent that you, you have like an exact 50-50 chance to hit. And I missed you with my wing buffet. Attack. I really wish I was I, I knew what I was doing with Wormix. Just uh I failed to hit the the swarm of midges. Which would have been great to swallow just an entire swarm of insects in a single bite. Oh, this is the alternate version of Norgos's lair, with ice elementals, and also a rare snake. It is a... Uh, what are they called? A summoner snake, and it summoned a spider. Please stop summoning things. Shade Walker. Which has disarm immunity, which is pretty nice. But it does a lot less damage than the sword that we're using. Okay, and yeah, these... This, like, I guess you'd call it like a salmon color. These are rare items. They're dropped by rare enemies. And they're slightly better than regular green magic items. But not as good as, like, artifacts or unique items. Get more accuracy so we don't miss as much. Some more willpower, some strength, some willpower. What is this? Ooh. Any creature caught inside will lose 10.7% of its current life. Oh, that's only current. If that was max life, that'd be so powerful. But no, let's get Swallow maxed out and Lightning Speed maxed out so we move really fast. I really don't know really how to build. Like, I know how to build a, like, a breath attack one. Let's also increase physical power and weapon damage. And continue to look for enemies. But that's all of them here. Okay. There's some more enemies. Okay, I got concerned seeing all of those enemies, but they were mostly worms. So it does not really matter. Bear. How does swallow work again? I think you can only swallow things that are one si that are your size category or larger. Which, because I'm a human, I'm medium size. But the thing is, size category is almost completely meaningless in this game. It's used for swallow, and I think grappling, if you're a brawler, but that's all it's used for. 
Otherwise, it's completely useless. It's also... Oh, wait, no. It's used for a prodigy. Which are special talents that only the most powerful of characters can attain. You get them at level 30 and level 42, so we're a long way away. There's, uh... This. Where each size category over big, you gain additional damage. But other than that, it does not matter. Oh, also, if you're an ogre... Ogres have the special ability that they can wield a two-handed weapon in one hand, and then, a, and then a dagger in their offhand, or a shield or something. But uh, that reduces how much damage they deal. The larger, that larger their size category is, the, the, the smaller the penalty is. But only in those cases is size category important. So for like an archmage, doesn't mean anything. For a bash, for a bulwark, doesn't mean anything. Ooh, some strength. I'll take that. That's better than, th than that. I could put this item on. It gives me plus one defense. I don't actually have a cloak equipped, but I don't really care. Oh, you're a big guy. An ultimate Shiv Goroth. And you died because I have an awesome sword. Okay, yeah, good luck with that. Ooh. Oh no, it's a degenerated skeleton warrior. I believe that is a, uh, a marauder. Yeah, that's a marauder. Gonna eat your marauder skeleton as soon as I stop being stunned. There we go. Oh, that might be decent, those boots. Not really. It gives me temp extra temporal resistance and allows me to penetrate other people's temporal resistance. Yeah, too bad I'm not, not a, a paradox mage or a temporal warden. Hide the green mold, princess. Oh, 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 did not mean to click there. Is Temporal Form any good on a sla Staff Reaver? I have no idea. Maybe I should disable the chat. Probably. Probably. But I won't do that now. Where is the boss? There are, are, are there four? Oh, nope, there's a boss. Found him. Time to run away. Da, 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 da. Run away. Okay, there we go. That's a really useful skill. Run away. Oh, I, I stopped. I lost my, uh... Oh god, my body. Ooh, I got a character to level 10. I've, I, I, I've already donated. Although I, I would, I, I do like this game a lot. And let's leave the area, and once we get back to the overworld, eh. Some, ooh, that's actually a pretty decent one. At least a, a first decent low level one. And I think I want to go to Dearth and get that there's a healing infusion there. No, 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 no. Not that hotkey. I don't know. I, nine cooldown isn't that bad. Yeah, I'll go there and buy that and then end the video. I'll play as a Reaver. I've, I've played as a Reaver more frequently than I have with Wormick when this character inevitably dies. Now 
let's use this. I could actually, yeah, let's just buy a new new slot. Because I do have the extra one from being Karnak, but that should be all for this video. <laughs>